There we go. Okay. Hi. Uh, Queen of Scuff is back. Hello. Um, I'm going to take that title for myself. Uh, because there has never been a stream on this uh, entire channel that has gone right. Um, I'm an IT professional. I still have IT issues that I can't solve until like apparently midstream. Um, but yeah. Hello. Um, I, uh, once again, failed to update the stream, and I now have to check on the stream to make sure that the stream is, is doing stream things. Um, I also have to make sure that I'm not... Yes, I'm not along. I'm, I'm nodding along to my own music soundtrack. <laughs> um, I will do my best to try and keep track of. Oh, that is way too high. Uh, going down. No, oh, that hit my knees. Let's try that again. There we go. Um, I'm gonna do my best to try and keep track of chat, but uh, we all know that I am an unfocused idiot, and so I might miss things. Um. With that said, I do have a chat box open that should be better than the one that is in uh, OBS Studio, but, you know, we'll see. Um, the good news is, as long as it picks stuff up in chat, it should have stuff going on. Uh, or should just be able to see what's going on. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm live again. Uh, I am eating a sandwich and uh, drinking tea right now, but uh, we'll, we'll get into um, the VTube avatar making, which is going to be... I am not prepared for this. <laughs> So yeah, um, this is gonna be wild. I think I might know a little bit about how they've uh, how they've done this, just because uh, my spouse is a um, is an artist, and I've seen a couple of the programs in the past, and I've played with them because as a software engineer, or as as an aspiring software engineer, that's what you got to do. You got to go and play stuff. So I was playing with a lot of things. Anywho, um, a bit about why I have not been streaming the last, like, two weeks, and the answer to that one is, I lost my job. <laughs> um, I, uh, they didn't have a job for me, they let me go, I have been, uh, trying to apply to new places to get hired, um, it has been stressful, I have not gotten any response back, because most hiring, uh, most hiring, like, um, groups, uh, higher in like series which means that essentially um it can be like a month before they respond and it's like well i need i need a job now so really sucks that I can't preview screens before I, like, push them live. Um, but whatever. Uh, oh, we're already on it. Great. Um, except my head is, that chat needs to be higher. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, hi. So, this is kind of what I've been going through. Um, I tried to go through a little bit of it, uh, today 
um, before the stream started. Granted, um, I have not been sleeping because after losing my job four days later, uh, we had somebody try to break into the uh, apartment. Um, he got the screen out and he almost got inside um, before I showed up and, and startled him. And he basically like spun some weird story about some one-eyed person being after him um, and using him with a, an axe. Um, Uh, anyway, he took off before the police arrived because we called the police and we were on the phone with 911 because like he tried to break into the apartment. He, he like ripped out the screen. It was a, an attempted B&E like, um, and so the police logged it. Um, but, um. Yeah, we found out that um, a couple days later he had come back and attempted to break in to the unit lower than us uh, by also destroying the living shit out of their uh, screen and attempting to, to raise their kitchen windows, uh, like window. Um, didn't work, left hand handprints on it, and that was apparently it. Uh, so we have been just in a constant state of like fear because the, the back doors to our apartment are like glass. It's tempered glass, but it's glass. So if someone really just like was desperate enough and just had enough, it would not be hard for them to just shatter that glass and step through the door. And so we've been terrified. Also, that door does not sit right. So on top of all of that, um, there is either a chance that that door will hold like you wouldn't believe, or it might just open itself on its own. Um, it's a 50-50 and it's ter kind of terrifying, uh, especially with this person that's been back multiple times. So we've been, um, well, I've been not sleeping at night, um, which has resulted in me basically passing out during the day for essentially eight hour periods and then attempting to try and get my schedule right by like going to bed early again and then just not being able to sleep because I'm paranoid that this guy is going to come in and do something. And so it's like, great, I'm, I'm living in constant fear inside my own home and I don't know what to do. So, uh, on top of all of that, I have been, um, attempting to try and keep a level head, de-stress, uh, the severance finally came in, which was nice, um, so that kind of keeps me clear for the rest of this month and most of next month, um, but I still do need to, uh, get a job, and, um, get hired and actually start making money. Because if I can do that, if I can get a job and I can start making money, I can hopefully get that PC upgrade I want. Because uh, this PC is really having problems. Yesterday I was going to stream as well, but then I decided to edit a video that I have not uploaded. It'll be uploaded after this. Um, and I forgot that rendering takes like three hours or like four hours on my little system. Um, and it just redlines my processor. So like I, I leave my, my PC running and then I come back in intervals and I'm like, all right, um, is my PC on fire? No? Okay, then, you know. Let it go, as it's basically just sitting around 90 degrees in constant. So it is, um, it's fun. I don't know how many of you are in chat. Um, oh, okay, apparently everybody's in chat. Y'all are just silent today. Um... But yeah, so there's been there's been a bunch of things that's happened. Um, if you can see on the top bar, uh, we're actually on. Um, I don't know, yeah, I think my support things in the way. That's fine. Um, we're actually on uh, transfem.social right now, and we have a co-host account that is uh, in the making. Yeah, no, it's been it's been wild. Um, we had lost my job, had a break in. Um, wasn't sure how much severance was going to be uh, be uh, for, but it came in as uh, $2,000, which means um, my part of the rent for uh, our apartment is basically covered um, for the next two months. But uh, that doesn't mean I get two months off. It just means that, like, if I can find a job, then I have student loans that need repayment. And come tomorrow, I have to be on the phone with student loans to be like, hey, you really screwed up. Um, on November of like last year 
and you've been overcharging me and I can't pay, and then basically have to show them potentially my last month's um, paycheck. Uh, which um, uh, is going to be like abysmal, and they're probably gonna be like, wow, you have like no money. <laughs> And I'd be like, yeah, I'd, I'd really like to not um, pay any more of this loan for the time being. I, I really need like a zero payment on this and the next one if I could so that I can, you know, actually begin to pay back. They're like probably gonna be like, oh, we'll just add the amount that you're missing to your loan. And it's like, yeah, I know you're going to do that. And you're not going to do what you're supposed to do, which is reset my... Um, my interest rate so that's gonna be on there and it's coming out of the point where it's like well I should maybe consider getting a credit card and actually like doing something with my credit score because um at some point I'm gonna need to uh start paying for stuff off credit because I don't make enough to um keep going out of my bank account like I've been doing for the past um 29 years of my life. Actually, no, not 29. I got a bank account when I was like 15 or something like that. So, uh, for the past 15 years. Well, 14. 14 and a half right now. We're getting there. I am only 29. God, I'm sorry if that scares some people or like scares some people away from the channel. Yeah, I am I am 29 years old. <laughs> I look like I'm 21. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, before I got let go, I took off my mask at work and I was just eating because I was like, there's no place to hide, right? It was, sucks, but they're, they're like, oh, we're a communal environment. And I'm like, hi, I'm, I'm a trans person um, and you're supposed to be trans supportive. And it's really not nice that there's not like, you know, a seating arrangement that has walls around it that would be like, you know, really nice to just sit in and not need to show my face. Um, but yeah, they're not like that. So, uh, yeah, I... Had to have my mask off and someone looks at me and they're like, dang, like you you talk like you're much older, but like you you're only like 22. And I'm like, I'm 29. <laughs> I'm not 22. Thank you for saying I look young, but I'm I'm 29 years old. I'm 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 gonna be 30 this year. And someone just looked at me and went, I'm 30, and I'm like, yeah, and they're like, how do you look so young? And I'm like, um, I'm a girl. And the response was, I get that, but how do you look so young? And it's like, um, I'm, I'm, I'm only like two and a half, maybe three years on puberty. Okay, I'm, I'm going to look young. It's nine years of this shit. And apparently, and this is the fun part, uh, because I'm not doing shots, um, I'm, I'm taking the slower route to uh, feminization. Because um, apparently um, shots give you faster results. Uh, um, so I will be, so the people that are on estrogen shots, I believe, they're, you're expected to see, um, sort of, like, major results, uh, up to, like, five years. But for me, because I'm on pills, the, the expectation is nine. So I will be, uh, slowly changing for nine years. <laughs> Which is like, oh, wow, that is a lot of time. So, uh, yeah, I started when I was 27. Um, I was 26, but it was like a couple days away from my birthday. So I, I say 27. Um, it will be three years come June 29th. Um, so that's when I first started taking uh, hormones. So June 29th, I was 27 years old. Um, when I started, so the expectation of when I'm done is going to be like, I'll be like 35, I think. I'll be 36. I'll be 36 when supposedly the, the feminization is over. And then at that point, I will consider if I uh, want certain surgeries or not. Because, uh... My goal in life is to um, reach, like, 65 years old and look like just an adorable old lady. Um, I hope to be that adorably autistic old woman 
that like you see in cafes that's just there to give good vibes. That's what I want to be, except I want to be that online. I would I would love to be a 65 year old streamer. That would be a beautiful thing, you know, to be that old. Hi, guys. Playing your favorite war games. I don't know. I think I think that's like just a novel idea to me. Like to be able to grow that old and just still be doing this would be nice. Because this I'm gonna always probably do this. It doesn't matter if I'm gonna be like um super old or not. Um I don't know how to put this, but like, I don't know, it's just, I, I'm, I'm gonna continue doing this probably for a while. Streaming has, has been kind of like an invigorating thing, like I, I, I always dread getting up into the moment because I'm like, oh, I have to set aside time and that's less time to do the things that I want and, you know, and I have to go through the whole, the stupid little, um, uh, all of these stupid little head games to finally get here. And then when I get here, it's like, okay, well, actually, no, I'm enjoying this. I enjoy talking to people. I enjoy yammering at a chat box. Um, I just, like, really hope now that I'm I'm on more than one social media site that I can garner more attention. I actually don't know if I could do... Can I do... Hi, I'm gonna go do this off on the side screen. I wanna know if... Can I make an Instagram post about my Twitch stream? I'm not even considering should, I'm just considering can. Copy. I already do new. Uh, new highlight? No. Um, create. Uh, create new post. Oh, I gotta drag photos and video. Well, this is weird. Like. This is like the weird part of I, I don't understand Instagram probably because like I want to do just like normal posts, but they're like, oh, yeah, if you want to do uh, a new post, you've got to have like a new highlight. I don't know. Uh, let's do Twitch stream is live. And then it's just like searching and it's like stories. It's like, okay, well, what are you even doing? What's going on? No, can't do that. I got four followers. Uh, I don't want to do threads. I think, I think, yeah, Instagram is like only pictures. So unless I have like pictures, I can't do Instagram. Um... And Tumblr is, like, kind of dying for me. Uh, and I mean that in the sense of, like... If you weren't on, um... If you weren't on Tumblr when this happened, basically... Well, how to put this into per... Into words. Um... The CEO of Tumblr... Uh... Yeah, see, like, that's, that's the fun part. So I see the Twitch notification in the, in the chat box, but that Twitch notification didn't show up in OBS Studio, which leads me to think that like OBS Studio's chat box doesn't do anything. I mean, like I even posted something where I said, like, I'm, um, this is just making tea. And I posted, um, once again, I didn't update the stream info and y'all saw that, but that didn't pop up on the chat box. So like, there's a bit of a weird delay on things that are popping up in chat. Um. So yeah, but anyways, um, so what happened on Tumblr? This is, this has been a wild one. Um, this happened in February around the 24th. Um, basically a relatively well-known, uh, trans femme blogger, um, was undergoing a rather large harassment campaign, uh, that was sort of organized by, well, it was organized by, uh, transphobe groups. And so the whole thing that that was happening with that was she was getting basically relentlessly attacked, stalked, uh, stalked IRL, 
um, death threats, the whole nine yards, and she'd reported it, but nothing was ever happening. Uh, the people that were stalking her uh, were making an active attempt to um, basically make her life miserable. And so finally, she just kind of like had enough and um, made a post to the CEO of Tumblr and was like, uh, uh, basically, like, because you're you're not helping or whatever. I basically hope that you die in a, um, in like a, or I hope you you crash a car that's like got a whole bunch of hammers or something strapped to it and explodes multiple times. It was just like y your average. I would say like the toxicity on Tumblr can get pretty bad, but like this was this was comical. This was Looney Tunes esque description of like, um a car that had a whole bunch of hammers taped to it exploding. Like, it's... It was dumb, but it got her completely removed from the platform, and the CEO then followed her once the backlash started happening, which happened almost immediately. Um, and her entire blog basically got nuked, which included uh, a whole bunch of um, transition timeline photos. Um... Her blog got uh, essentially completely nuked off the site, and then the CEO followed her to other social media sites to continue the harassment. Um, so not only was she being harassed by uh, transphobes, she was being then harassed by the CEO and owner of Tumblr. Um, and a lot of people spoke out against this and also had their accounts uh, deleted. Um, and pretty much anybody that had uh, direct ties with her was also under fire. Um, and it's to be noted that like the, the reasons for the citing the of the account removal, at least initially from what um, uh, the CEO stated, was because of, of uh, conduct breaking, to which a lot of that conduct breaking was false reporting by that said harassment campaign. And so what's happened is, is basically a lot of trans people are moving off of Tumblr because it's become very clear that um, they're willing to ban trans people. And this is this has been going on for a while. They had a moderation group that uh, was tagging trans femme transition photos um, and just trans people in general's transition photos as explicit content and having it removed and violations applied. That content company that was uh, or that moderation company uh, that was doing that um, has apparently been removed, but they had also, uh, that content moderation company also uh, sold out their moderation to uh, different groups, um, so subcontracted, which they weren't supposed to do. Um, and so it's basically just been hell on Tumblr because it's like every couple months, and I do mean every couple months, there is some problem, some harassment campaign that it's not being... Um, provided uh users don't have the tools to um to sort of moderate their accounts if that makes any sense like there's no ability for them to to kind of fight back against these kind of campaigns even though they these kind of uh features do exist on other websites and so basically what's happened is tumblr has kind of just been supposedly the queerest place on the internet is uh really not living up to its name and so a lot of trans people have left and it was kind of one of those things where i was like i i don't know if i should make the same move um i don't know like at, at what point do you stick in and you know try to make the space your own but i think what finally kind of got to me was it was like the ceo and the ceo is currently on a sabbatical meaning he's not really in charge of anything at the moment, but the moment he comes back, the way that he reacted and acted, and the way that Tumblr staff tried to react to it but couldn't sort of make any real headway, really kind of spoke volumes as to um, the kind of hell that's coming down the line when he returns. Um, because trans people on Tumblr have been having problems for a while, and that includes my account. Um, it wasn't that long ago, I think it was only about eight months ago, that I had my own harassment campaign, uh, slamming my accounts, um, and I was dealing with that in the sidelines. A lot of people didn't get to see that because it popped up in my asks and I just kept reporting 
and um, I keep referring to, to their own terms of service and contract agreements and even brought up contract law, which is something that, um, as I believe, a Tumblr is a, a California-based company, I believe. Um, and so by citing that particular law, it kind of lets them know that there's a breach going on. And I know that that puts every reporting option on any website has a sort of priority filter set to what could be the most damaging. And if you mention contract law and you are at least somewhat versed in it, and you can bring up the points that are being um, violated on that, because anytime that you are using a service and it's being that service is being provided to you, um, there's a contract agreement between you and the provider. And if that contract agreement is being violated, then there are ramifications to that, especially if that contract is being violated and there is um, evidence of discrimination. Um, if you're in a situation where, you know, a contract's being violated and it's because of discrimination, th there are actual legal repercussions that can come that can come with that. Not anything that can get you money, but it can still get them in a lot of trouble. And so if you mention contract law and if you mention the terms of service and you point out where the break has happened, um, content or a report like that, rather than this person is being transphobic, um, reports like that are gonna are gonna hit the top of the queue as being potentially high threat value, and it's why I've kind of had, I think, success, um, especially because I've I've been on the back end of uh, not moderating but dealing with the the physical systems that moderate such such claims, and I got to see a little bit in the back end, and it's like any claim that mentions certain things the the backend algorithm will push it to the top because it it sees that as a priority thing to to respond to um so there's likely a lot of people out there who are like oh yeah no i've got this account i'm under this harassment campaign and like i've i've been reporting it and tumblr's been doing you know nothing about it my question then becomes like okay well let's go to the legal aspect of this how are you reporting it what are you saying in your reports because you got to be concise and to the point, but you've also got to point out what you need to. So I've had moderate success, but that's just because of previous jobs in the past that have given me the knowledge to know how to do that. So I've had largely like the 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 transphobic part of uh, Tumblr doesn't hit my account anymore because I have completely annihilated their accounts off of Tumblr every single time they've tried. But that's because I know how to report it. Whereas if you don't know how to report that, if you're just reporting. Uh, terms of service rule breaks, well, then it's just going to go to the terms of service rule breaks, which are kind of happening all the time. The moment that you start mentioning law, they're like, oh shit, like, I don't want to get in trouble with this. Um, and so it's, it's one of those things that you do have to be careful, like, you do have to sort of know what you're doing, and um, you can get better results from it. It also helps to understand that when you are providing contracts or when you are providing a service, um, the contract, while it's active, can protect um, the company from essentially certain laws where you might be sitting. So if, if you're not in the United States and you've got more comprehensive laws um, for, say, services that are provided in your country, the contract that, that you basically agree to when um, deciding to use a certain service um, it kind of protects the company because it lets them to kind of set the rules of what can and can't be done. However, the moment that, that um, those rule sets get broken, and it's not by you, it's by someone else, um, and you have proof and photos of that and screenshots of what's happening, um, if that contract is broken and an act to sort of remediate or um, fix the issue isn't uh, attempted to make, or att attempted, isn't attempted or made, um, then the contract completely breaks down, and then the providing party becomes liable for, uh, sort of, not sort of, they become liable for the laws being governed in your country, right? Because they're providing a service, and they failed to uphold their end of the bargain, and which now means that you've been exposed to something. If they haven't gone uh, to the attempt of actually fixing it, then, you know, they're going to have essentially X issue. It really depends on your country, but I know that in Canada, um, it's part of our constitution uh, to have anti-discrimination laws, 
And if a company is found to be having a platform that allows or uh, pervades discriminati uh, discriminatory behavior, you really don't want your contract to be broken for that person. Because anybody in Canada that's experiencing that, if they don't make an attempt to rectify the issue, um, and, and to, to still make good on the contract that you agreed to, if it completely fails, then that investigation can be opened and no company that's operating um, a social media platform wants to be in that situation. Uh, that's why those terms of service agreements exist. They exist to, to protect the company from literally your country's laws that could hurt them. Um, and so it's, it's, it's one of those things, you know, it depends on how you report it because you really are using the law to your side. Um, and I, I, a lawyer could go into, into better detail about all of this, but in essence, how you report matters. And that's why I've had success, but upon looking at sort of what happened with um, Pedestrogen is the name, uh, and Avery's accounts, um, seeing all of that go down and seeing uh, the CEO's response lets me kind of know that there's, there's shit coming down the line. Um, so after this stream, I will be going in and I will be exporting the remainder of, uh, or basically exporting my entire blog. Um, it'll be a massive file download, but I don't care. Um, and I will be re-uploading, uh, I guess my more harder hitting posts to areas like transfim.social and co-host. Um, just so that if my account does go down, um, I'll also be uh, uploading my more autistic posts about the uh, whole axes and swords thing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... Uh, th those are staying around. I, I put time into those. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so I'm gonna be exporting, I'm gonna be moving those over, so I might not be on Tumblr for much longer. Um, just because when Matt gets back, um, I imagine there's gonna be some pretty harsh changes. Uh, and it's just kind of one of those really annoying things, you know, it's, 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 I just want a space where I can kind of air my thoughts and opinions and, uh, not be under, like, I'm, I'm not against the idea of people challenging me on my views that, that I don't have a problem with. Um, but I'm really not for, you know, being attacked, um, for just who I am as a person. Like, I understand that there are people and religions and beliefs that, that don't coincide with my existence. And I would largely say that's fine as long as, you know, they are respectful. But the problem is, is that they aren't. And that's kind of where I've, I've wanted, um, I guess, a bit of protection. Um, and just a, a, a place to, to be more positive because it is the people that are championing this are people who typically have larger platforms than someone like myself and larger platforms than a lot of trans people because the whole thing about being trans is it's not about being part of a movement it's just you trying to live your life changing your identity in a way that suits you whether that is changing physical parts of yourself through hormones or through surgeries or whether that is simply just a social change um there's no larger agenda at play, which is what kind of makes it so hard for individual trans people to fight back, because the opposition is institutionalized. Um, and, and we have, like, literal proof of this. Um, there are not only religious groups that are banding or have banded together in an attempt to push a certain rhetoric, there are political groups uh, that are pushing against it. And trans people really don't have an avenue to kind of fight on our own. We're, we're not numerous enough to actually affect change ourselves. It really comes down to, and I've mentioned this before, it comes down to allies. It comes down to people who don't live our experience at, uh, championing our voices for us. Because there's just so few of us. Um, and the, I think the thing to note is that like any of the major opposition against trans people having rights and freedoms and access to health care um, any of the vocal opposition in the media, their platforms dwarf um, even the most notorious trans person online. Like, the, the, the number of people that are watching and supporting 
the most pervasive anti-trans uh, sort of media outlet, um, the, the number of people watching that and supporting that are vastly outnumbering a, a, a simple trans spokesperson. Um, and that sucks because, like, I just want to live my life. I mentioned that I would like to be online and streaming as, as an old lady. <laughs> like, I'm not... I'm not here to to do something nefarious. Literally, I have the, the the stupidest goal in the history of ever, which is to just be online and streaming as a 65 year old and playing video games and and kind of enjoying my time. But um, evidently, it seems that my life will always be a war because nobody just wants to let me live. It's kind of what it feels like. Anyway. Oh, live 2D cubism, let's go. Okay. <sighs> this is going to be uh, fun. One second here. I don't know why it happens, but it's like I, I talk too much, and all of a sudden my nose gets itchy. I'm like, I don't want my nose to be itchy. I want to I wanna do art. <laughs> well, in this case, uh, when I say I want to do art, I'm not an artist. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm I'm not art proficient. I uh, I have done one drawing, and that is of a shrimp, <laughs> and that was with references. And uh, it it you can look at it and be like, yeah, that sure is a shrimp. But like when you're dealing with humans, um, I feel like there's a little bit more uh, detail that is required because like not many people might really know what makes a shrimp a shrimp. You know, you've kind of only really seen the ass end. And so you're like, oh, yeah, I know what a shrimp looks like. But then, you know, you, you actually look up a picture of a shrimp and you're like, oh, wow, that is weird. But you don't really have like the eye for detail. We've been seeing anime characters and uh, like cartoons and stuff like that for um, even like uh, American style cartoons. We've been seeing those for a while. And. Eh. Got something in my mouth. <laughs> Um, we've been seeing that for a while, well, you know, you, you kind of grow up with this stuff. Uh, so, it really comes down to, like, the level of detail expectation is different. At least I feel that's the way that it is. That, like, people expect a certain level of detail with the way that you make an avatar. Um, and so, like, if I can just showcase this, because I don't... Okay, thank you, you're gonna open that up. Uh... Yeah, a little birthday dude. This... This is is the shrimp. This is the extent of my art ability. Um, if you are unimpressed by this, oh, this is only gonna get worse. I don't I don't have art skill, and my my avatar doesn't even have um, the ability to uh, like move her arms. I, I don't have like a little like tablet thing I can put in front of my in, in front of me that can like read the input of like what the. This is even on the wrong... Is this the... No, that's not it. You? Yeah, here. So this is this is the... Um, I don't know if you can see my... Uh, I don't actually think you can. Oh, wow. Yeah, it, it doesn't... It doesn't show the cursor moving... Um, on the image, for whatever reason. Uh, and it will kind of only show it in the top bar, which is really, really weird. But yeah, this is, um, my, uh, stylus that is kind of like going off and doing that. I don't have, um, art skill. And so the one thing that I'm going to note about 2D cubism, um, getting into this is, uh, there was a bunch of stuff that was kind of like made available to me just knowledge wise because i had to research the 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 product and so 2d cubism um and this lovely software that exists to which i will have to showcase a bit of it um i have a 2d cubism viewer and i have the 5.0 editor um wherever that should pop up there we go so this is actually going to be for after we've drawn the avatar. Um, and it specifically has to use PSD. I'm gonna do the... Hi. 
Um, there is, oh yeah, no, see, there's all of this. So there's actually like a manual, which is what you see open in the background. There is a tutorial. Um, I don't think that opened it. Oh, there we go. We'll drop that in here. Uh, drop that down. Um, and then they've got like a sample model collection so that you can like see what you could do. And we might play with this. This, this might get, um, oh, okay. So it double opened because I double clicked. There's, there's sample stuff that we might take a look at, but this isn't stuff that I can use. That's just like stuff that I can play with, right? Because I'm going to have to do this on my own. But what I, from what, from what I can understand, they even have like, um, online schooling stuff down here that you can do. And then they have this, which is a new application. So, um, I didn't know this, this didn't know this, but if you make an avatar in 2d cubism, um, th there's an application for your phone so that it can use your camera so that you can, you can have your avatar operating off of your camera. And I didn't know this. Um, I had a ping. Someone pinged me. Where, where did I get pinged? I got pinged somewhere. Okay, well, it's not there. I got like a tiny little notification and I don't know. It just, it went in my ears. It was a little blip. What are we, out of everything I have opened, what did I just get pinged on? Oh, I think that might have been a notification from transfam.social. I don't know. Uh, it's okay. We'll drop that down. Um, I forgot where I was. Right. No, they have like uh, schooling programs and stuff like that. Um, And so it like leads to like work skills and stuff like that. They have like a live 2D community, so you can ask each other questions. Um, I might jump into that, but this is stuff that I might jump into um, privately because I don't know if I'm allowed to stream this stuff because it is other people's work. And I do have to kind of remind myself that if you're kind of, if it's not um, evidently apparent, this is a Japanese program. So the laws on 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 Japan and the use of your of their software is a bit different, and I kind of want to respect that as much as possible. So while I will be like opening up the editor and showing how I'm doing stuff, there might be stuff like the basic tutorials and stuff like that that I'm not gonna show, um, because this is stuff that I'm I'm gonna have to potentially look into on the side. Um, but I figure anything that's just straight normal written documentation is fine, especially if I'm showing you guys where to go and get it, especially because the address bar is visible uh, on the top. Um, but there is like the tutorial stuff like that, like the 2D Cubism tutorial. Um, that said, I know that uh, it uses PSD files. So uh, because I don't have access to Photoshop and Photoshop is paid um, and I am poor, um, I will be using not only the free version of this, which has restrictions, major restrictions. Um, there is an option to do the, uh, like, yeah, you could purchase a pro license, but it's only for like a year or something like that. And it's like, I don't know if the, the yearly license is something I want to do, because if I click that, it opens up a, um, a whole page and uh, it's like $95 US to get the annual plan or $246 for a three year plan. And there is a yearly discount 
that will like reduce the amount that it costs. Like it's 95 for the first year, it's 78 for the, or it's like, it's, yeah, it's 96 for the first year and that's in USD. It's uh, 79 for the second year and then 71. And it just continues at that 70, like two ish, 71 ish rate. Um, and as much as I, as I like, if this was, if I was going to be using live 2D cubism as like an actual job, like making avatars, making clothing and editations and, um, uh, like say even potentially, cause you can use, uh, the live 2D cubism literally to, uh, to, to animate. <laughs> It's an animation tool is what it is. Uh, you can use it for, you know, using programs like VTube Studio, but uh, this is also used by like animation companies to animate their, you know, characters and uh, um, and sort of just, just all of that. So if I was doing this as a job, yeah, that would be worth it. But at current, I'm not doing it as a job. I'm doing it as a for fun project, which means that like, I'm not gonna be, um, I'm not going to be able to kind of purchase and, and justify the cost of $100 a year. Um, I can barely afford to make $100 into my savings a year. That's that's kind of like the situation I'm running here. I, I don't make that much. Um, so with a, something like this, I'm going to do the free version. Um, it's limited functions. And so from what I understand, basic off of this and just seeing a few diagrams, once I've made the PSD file, there is a whole process for adding it into here to making sure that you can see how far it can transform certain things. Um, so as you can see, my eyebrows going freaking crazy right now. Uh, this is going to be sort of where the end product of what I draw in layers is going to go to. Um, so for the time being, I don't actually need to run this. There is, of course, like edit levels and stuff like that. Like this is um, modeling, animation, form animation. There's there's levels to this. This is going to be a learning curve. Um, and you can even see how much it's like taking out of my memory to just run the program. But basically, I'm going to close that out because I don't think we're going to be using that for the time being. Um, this is this is going to be a bit of a fun project because I'm going to get to actually like get to actually drawing and um, but there are templates I think that I can use and I think there's like free ones that kind of like show you how to draw things um, and how to kind of like put them together to, to kind of make them look good but then like how to um, pull them out in individual parts because you're gonna want to do like a face section a body section You know, there might be like a mouth section uh, uniquely um, You know for joints and stuff like that just to kind of like put it all together um, I think the free version only gives me so many layers that I can actually use so um, Keeping the avatar as simple as possible is kind of what we're going for um, Because like yes, there's gonna be a face layer and a hair layer um, it's gonna need to happen. There's gonna need to be a clothing layer as well. Um, because uh, all in all, um, there's only so much I can put together inside that editor. I think it gives me something like 30 or something individual layers that I can use. So I have to keep it sort of under a certain amount. Um, actually, if I can look up cubism. Uh, DD Cubism Editor. Um, compare free versus pro. Okay. This is this is what I'd, I'd gone through. Um, so... Yeah, so for commercial purpose, uh, purpose usage, 
Only general users and small scale enterprises, annual sales less than 10 million yen may use the free version for commercial purposes. So if I'm not, um, as far as I understand, as long as I'm not like making money off of the avatar directly, I should be fine. Um, and if I do, what is it? And to CAD. Uh, it's like, uh, so if I'm under $100,000, so basically if, I, if I'm under $90,000 um, a year, um, then I should be fine. And that's like if I'm making stuff off of my streams. Um, but this is, of course, live 2D cubism. So there, there could be something to say about... Um, It depends on how transferable the license is. Like say, for example, if I were to make an avatar in this and then sell that av uh, avatar to someone for like 20 bucks, um, if they then use that avatar and they make like $300,000, the question I think that, that kind of like comes in and out is like, does that person now own uh, owe, uh, 2D Cubism because it was made in 2D Cubism uh, software, even on the free purposes? Um, for the, the sake of, of you know, do, do they now owe them money uh, for it? Because um, cause I know that once you make over that amount, you, you do have to pay, um, I think, a certain amount over. I can't remember. It's in small scale enterprises is permitted for funding purposes, purpose, non-commercial, or supervision purposes, internal, non-commercial, or supervisional purposes. So, like, I don't, I don't know. It's kind of one of those those weird areas. Do I expect to make ninety thousand dollars a year off of this? No, I, I should be fine. But it's one of those things just to be kind of be careful of, especially when you're dealing with software like this. Is if it like if it's used to produce a product, the question then becomes, uh, if you are selling that product to someone else, does that other person become liable if they make? Uh, more than a certain amount, um, do, do they then have to pay the company the same sort of uh, fees for you know using a product of what it, it created? Um, it's one of those weird ones. It really depends. Um, but I think what it ultimately means is like if you are using this to produce a TV show or something um, that makes a lot of money, and you are actively using the software, you can't. Uh, use it so if you're like a small time animator and you're using 2d cubism to like do your animations then it should be fine as long as you're making less than ninety thousand dollars a year but if you're making over ninety thousand dollars a year then they're gonna require that you use the um uh the pro version because you're now a professional if you're making over that amount and uh they, they don't allow you to use the free version i think when it comes to avatars and um it comes to uh like YouTube and Twitch, I don't think that's the case because like you aren't actively using the software. You use it to create an output, but I think if it's like you're you're constantly changing your outfits, that kind of thing, there could be a little bit of a of an in between there. But once again, if I'm making ninety thousand dollars a year, I might just buy the pro version, just because um, you know support the tools that you're making is kind of the nice thing. Like this is what a lot of this. Um, uh, comes down to is like if I'm making ninety thousand dollars a year, like yeah maybe maybe I should um, consider buying the pro version right because it's only like a hundred bucks a year, and if I'm gonna be making editations to the avatar, then like yeah of course one hundred percent buy the pro version don't just use the free right. Um, it's kind of the same like reason why uh, I had I had please note this had the um. This, I had this, the remove watermark on my wish list. Cause I was like, hey, I am going to potentially buy this after I've made the avatar, right? Like I'd, I'd use the, the, the free version of the software um, to animate the avatar and we'd see what it looks like. And then I decide if I wanted to go, someone, someone went and bought this for me and was like, here, you should probably have this. It'll make things easier for you. 
you know who you are and you know what you did. Because this wasn't just a, hey, this will make things easier for you when you finally get around to it. You know I have an obligation complex. You, you know that I can't just do nothing when people buy me things. Like, why do you think I have the list? Why do you think this exists? A friend bought me this. This was also bought for me. So was Baldur's Gate 3. This is... Borderlands 2 was bought for me. Borderlands uh, 3 was a um, $2 purchase because I technically own the game elsewhere, and it detected that, and I was able to go and get a discount for it. The Game of the Year Edition, which we had been playing the enhanced version, which did not like my PC. Um, that was, was something that it was actually bought for me on... Uh, I think it was the Unreal, like, platform by someone else. Um, my spouse bought this one for me as a birthday gift. Um, Dark Souls 2 was bought to me, bought for me by a friend that was like, here, you should try this, and I've never played it yet. I have not played it yet. This is, this is one of the games we're gonna go through, but I was like, hey, um, like, I don't even know when this thing was released. When, when was this released? 2014 so my, my pc should be able to run it but like this was bought for me this was something i bought to, to play with my friends so that's this is my fault but like I, I get that also bought for me also bought for me once again bought for me cancel um this was bought for me for by a friend uh this was bought to play with friends and it is a game that i cannot wrap my head around um i have tried uh this was something that I actually backed on my own, and I have uh, very much enjoyed and loved every single minute of it, and I will never apologize ever for buying this game, because sometimes I just like to sit in space and rotate the ship and turn off um, flight correction and just spin, and I will listen to lo-fi as I am watching my ship rotate over a planet that looks absolutely gorgeous, and I will play my Switch <laughs> just to have that feeling of like, I'm in space. Um, I'm a weird person, and I'm allowed to like weird things, okay? You can't get mad at me for that. Um, Evil Within, once again, someone else bought this for me. Uh, Factorio, this was bought for friends. The Fallout titles, if you know, you know who you are. Um, this was bought as a gift from my spouse. This is, uh, games that were bought because, um, they don't run on Steam and, uh, the person was being a dick. <laughs> um, and they were like $2 each. Um... I have played 50 hours of New Vegas. Okay, the last time I played it was 2015. I have not started up this game because I'm pretty sure the last character I created was female. Um, and I don't want to know how, how deep into the closet I was. I have been scared to touch this since 2015, okay? I will probably end up having to touch this at some point. Far Cry 4. Spent way too many hours in this. Um, never completed it. Um, also bought as a gift. Uh, this was bought as a gift. Like, most of this, this is, God of War is also a gift. Grand Theft Auto was a gift. Horizon Zero Dawn was a gift. This is my fault. Um, this was also a gift. This was also a gift. This was also a gift. Have not played it since 2014. Um, have not played this since 2018. This was before my realization. Um, I might actually enjoy this now. I have not tried. Uh, this was also a gift. Um, I have not played this for a while. But yes, this was also a gift. Like, Murdered Soul Suspect is also another one I haven't played since 2015 and I would like to go through, but I'm just a little bit worried about it because like, I'm not sure how much of the misogyny I can take because I know this game has kind of a bit of it. Um, fantastic story, very interesting con uh, concept. Has not been reviewed, uh, redone ever again, which is saddening because it was such kind of like a, a cool and quirky game. Um, this was also a gift. This was also a gift to myself. I heard this one. Anyway, uh, gift, gift, gift. Have not played it since 2017. Do want to go back to it. Um, this is a gift. This is a gift. Uh, this is a gift that I've never played. Um, and I've never completed this one. But, uh, I really should try. 
Um, Scribble Knots Unlimited. This was actually a gift, and I played this with my spouse. This was great. I loved this. I'd love to go back to this. Such good memories. Um, this was also a gift. This was a gift. Someone, someone gifted me this game. And, um... The only reason it's not on my hard drive is because my computer, it, it finally updated to a point my computer can't run it. Um... Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I have not played. It is also a gift. Slime Rancher, gift. And I have been playing it, and we should probably get back into playing it. No, no, don't do this to me, dude, please. Please, please just check my wish list. There's a bunch of indie games on there that I'd rather try and play. Um, um, I don't really want to dox my account, but... Uh, yeah, Slime Rancher 2, this was a gift from my spouse, who was like, here, once you complete Slime Rancher 1, you'll probably enjoy Slime Rancher 2. Momo, I will get to this. I will complete this game, okay? I will get over my fear and I will complete this game. After we have the new avatar. So you can see my horror in much better detail. Uh, Squad, this is, I actually don't know why this is on this list. Um... I'm... is this even the right... yeah, this is the sidekicks list. This is interesting. Uh, we're gonna remove squad from this. This was uh, a fun pre-transition game. Um, Jedi Fallen Order! I would love to play this one again! Uh, unfortunately, the graphics are just so chonky, my PC can't handle it. This is a post-update. Like, I found out that... oh wait, where is it? Where's the... Uh, Where's the part list? Where's the part list? Verify me. I am human. Thank you. Um, I found out that this, uh, this processor that I have really wanted is, um, if I go to, to Memory Express in my city, it's, it's like this price. And it has been like $600 for a while. And it is now just $359. And I'm like, I want it so bad. But I'm poor. So I basically, like, this is the CPU I want. The motherboard and stuff can come after. I just, I really want to get the CPU. So that if I can get the CPU, then, like, I know what I, the system I'm building, and the reason why I'm going for this processor is I am, it's the highest rated processor and a 12 core um, that I can get that has a zero benchmark rating uh, for its bottleneck for a processor, sorry, for, for a graphics card. That is a, sorry, for 3090 equivalent graphics card. So basically, it's the last processor of the AM4 series. Um, no! What are you doing to me? What is this? Anyway, I really want this. That is what the goal in the upper corner is. It's 750. It's to just cover the taxes that might be on this and whatever like four year warranty I'll want to throw on this, especially because I'm going to make Memory Express if I can get all of this at once. I'm going to make Memory Express put in the processor to the motherboard um, because if they bent the, bend the pens, they will cover the cost. So as long as I'm getting them to put the fins in or put the pins in, put the processor in, um, I can take the rest home and I can mount it. Um, but I also, I might just, if I can get the... Um, the, the the case I can uh get them to like mount it and everything correctly um and then go from there I know that I'm not gonna be getting a 3090 anytime soon unless there's like all of a sudden one of the companies comes out and is like hey we've come out with a graphics card that is uh so unbelievably powerful it's like it blows the 4090 series completely out of the water like it makes the 4090 series look like incredibly small and then like all of a sudden it comes down to like it's a hundred bucks for the for the graphics card like there's no way i'm gonna afford it afford it unless it's that like unless we somehow get quantum computing inside a graphics card it's not gonna happen um anywho uh what did you get me and why oh what did you get me uh you got me dragon's dogma i'm gonna lose my life I'm gonna lose my life. Uh. Hmm. 
Now I have to go to my uncategorized and expose my weirdness. Uh. Yeah, I have Dragon's Ball Xenoverse, and that is one I'm gonna have to play on my own, uh, because I can't play that game on Twitch or on YouTube because it keeps on getting copyright claimed because of the music that's in it. And so unless you want me to play uh, a silent version of Dragon Ball Xenoverse, um, I can, but I'd have to turn the music straight off. Uh, so yeah. And yes, I've played a lot of weird games. That is the nature of who I am, okay? I, I see some things and I go, oh, cool. There's like even some games that are on my um, wish list right now that uh, the reason why I don't want to show my like wish list is because like they're on there and you would judge me. But the thing is, is that I played the demos back when I was just like at a point in my life where I was like, I don't care. Any game is a good game, you know, like as, as long as it's not a virus, it's basically a, a game I'm willing to play. I was just super bored and I came across some uh, titles that are, I will just say 18 plus um, that surprised me with the fact that they actually have good story. Um, and I will stop there, but it has surprised me that like, you know, sometimes people make uh, 18 plus games and they spend a lot of time on character development and story creation that it was like, oh, wow, this is actually like, I'm not into the other aspects of this game, but I'm into the story and I need to see where this goes. And yeah, so there's a couple of games on my Steam uh, library that are, um, we'll never play them because we can't, uh, unless all of a sudden Twitch decides that there is going to be a uh, porn category that is allowed for the flagged for accounts. Um, until that day happens, I will not be playing those games. Those ones will be uh, done exclusively offline and for my own private enjoyment, despite the fact that some of the storylines are just really fucking cute. <laughs> like, I don't know how to, how to describe that. It's just cute. It's just adorable and romantic. And it's like, wow, could you have... I get that it's the, the whole thing of like, you know, the, the creator's vision was to create something that was 18 plus and to have this cute like story in it, but could you like make the story again? <laughs> in a game that I could play online? <sighs> like, for a whole Twitch category? The, 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 the interpersonal relationships are amazing. Uh, please make this into an RPG and just remove the other elements. It'd be great, but no, can't do that, so. It is what it is. Um. I guess my real gripe about about all of that is literally just um, I hate that that certain uh, where are we? Where's Dragon's Dogma? When did when did this come out? I need to remember because my PC was uh, yeah no I'm sure we'll yeah, fuck it uh, yeah I'm a July kid let's do this um oh 2016. That's when I got the system. I might actually be able to 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 play this. This is is this like a top down or is this a no? This is a whole. Oh. This is gonna be an interesting one to play. What have you done to me, Ollie? What have you done? There were there were so many other games. Like I was thinking that uh, that is that is actually cheap. So, um, here's the thing. Uh Little Witch in the Woods is one of the ones that um, th this uh, I can only go down so far, um, cause it's a Norb analog. We'll stop with yeah, cause then it's just it's the ones that I can't play: Dead Space, Outer Wilds, Nightingale. These are the ones that I'm not gonna. I want the PC upgrade before this comes out. Anywho, um, basically, 
all these ones are coming soon. Um, but these are kind of like the, the ones that are, uh, my, my, I might be able to play Outer Wilds if I'm lucky. Um, I probably have to shut down a lot of stuff and just have the stream running, but I could probably play this. And then we've got Nightingale, um, which is a mixed one right now because it's early access. Um, and I just think it's, it's, it needs time to cook. Um, Dead Space. This is the remastered version, so I'm probably not going to be able to play it. Um, yes, I do sometimes like playing horror games, but I like playing horror games with people and friends. Um, there's Tiny Tina's Wonderland, which uh, is 2022, which I... My PC won't be able to run this game. And this one um, is the Jedi Knight Academy, which I kind of want to play around in because it just looks so old. Um, and it's more of one of just like I saw it and I was like, damn, this is dated. I need to t I need to grab this. Um, Hi-Fi Rush is one that I will have to wait for. So is Kenya um, or Kenna. Uh, Wild Mender is another one that I really wanted to check out. Um, and then there's this, which is just the funniest thing in the world. But I don't think my PC can run it because I think it still might be too graphical intensive. Um, this is a uh, Metal Hellsinger is another one, but like Dredge, but then it cuts like straight to like a little to the left. These are the ones that I've looked at and I was like, oh, I'm these might be fine for my computer to run because they're generally low res games. Um, this just looked it has overwhelmingly positive reviews. And so I was like, I should take a look at that. Um, this one is another one that that like I just I saw and I was like, oh, it's a bullet hell. This will be interesting for me to like screen through. Um, this one might also be problematic, but we'll have to see. And I'm meaning that for like my, my graphics card. Um, but then we've got stuff like Inkfell, uh, that um, is another 2D uh, sort of RPG based. Um, Sunhaven is another one, Little Witch in the Woods. Uh, Enshrouded is one that is literally released <laughs> this year and the only reason it's on this list is because a friend has it and i was like i want this game um my spouse recently got the the fey farm one which was 34 dollars, and it's almost worth it for me to get it we'll have to see um because it this is a remarkably fun looking game um and i i think my my computer can take it but like we'll have to see um it really depends i a lot of the grittier games i can't play um so we'll have to install this over tonight uh, but I also have an upload to do and a minor edit after all of this. Um, but yeah, back on track. Um, Ollie, thank you for giving me the next game that I'm going to have to. I have so many games I need to get through, and like a lot of them are just ones that I just don't have the processing power for. Um, I was kind of looking forward to do, to redoing the, the Assassin's Creed series, but... Uh, there's problems with uh, Ubisoft at the moment, so I'm waiting for them to um, be good people about it and actually own up to shit and see what happens. Um, but until then, uh, back on topic. This refers to the images of the parts which compose a character or... Okay, I need to see what that means. The image of the it is an image of the parts that make up a character arranged in a plane. You can add or delete textures, resize into the parts, etc. Here's okay. Well, so a lot of this is going to be in, in Japanese, which I don't speak. So um. Texture name, width, height. Okay, so you're saying that this refers to the images of the parts which compose a character or other subject arranged side by side. These are the images necessary to output a model for incorporation into an SDK. Um, there's no limits, but this is max one. Uh, 
PSD images that are loaded into the modeler are automatically allocated a mesh for each layer and are arranged on the canvas. Each of these is known as an art mesh. The number of layers in a PSD is equal to the number of art mesh. So I can have at least 100 individual layers, um, or at most 100, 100 individual layers. Um, settings that express particular movements such as X angle, mouth open, close. Um, the created parameters are combined using the animator to express motion. So there are max 30 of those. Uh, number, so this like the free version really is just a trial. Like the free version is, is, is a trial because like this might, this alone might become like a major limiting factor. Um, but we'll have to see, we'll have to see because we'll have to, we'll have to build the avatar in Krita export it as a PSD and then load it in and see what happens. Um, and please note, once again, I am not an artist, so I, I'm also not familiar with drawing in Krita all that well. Um, so there's a lot of stuff I don't know. So this is going to be a whole learning progress and process. And, uh, depending on how much I actually enjoy, um, actually getting into the whole drawing process prospect, um, once we actually get there, it's going to be, we're going to have to see, because if, if this becomes something that I enjoy doing, I might just literally sit here on stream for multiple hours of a day and just try and do this. Um, there's 30 motion param parameters. Uh, function that creates a new form by adding together the different pieces, the differences between the original object form and the key form. Gonna need to understand what it means by key form. Uh, the blend shape parameters are special parameters that can be used to add blend shape key form. Unlike deformation. Deform. It's max three. Max 30 parts. Okay, the component elements of a character, such as the eyes and nose, are divided into groups called parts. Each part can be conveniently displayed, hidden, locked, and selected. Each part is a folder, and these can be nested for management in multiple levels. No, number of parts equals number of folders. Okay, so I can have like 30 folders, basically. Uh, art path. Objects have been added. or wrinkling and closing these support parameter-based deformation and can provide a high level of expression while maintaining the quality of the original illustration. Okay, there's max three, no limits. The number of divisions for warp and deformer conversion allows you to detail the movements along the shape of the deformer. Okay. Edit form, copy, paste, blend. These functions allow an object form, shape, last job, to be copied and either pasted directly into uh, a different key form or blended. So has that doesn't, has that doesn't apply parameters to child objects, that resize model, draw order group is max two, multi-view, Yeah, there's, there's like, the, um, the 
what we'll be able to do with this is going to be heck and limited. And that was just modeling. Well, ultimately what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to see what it does and doesn't do. And then whenever we come across a load roadblock, we'll have to consider what we're gonna do. Um, do I wish there was a way to just like pay a set amount to just buy the software and in its current version? Um, yeah, absolutely. But they're doing a subscription model, which sucks because I don't make enough money for subscriptions. I never have. Anyway, um, okay. Interesting. Okay. So... Okay, so this is... So this is basically just how we can learn not only the basics using different models. I might have to go into this. I might actually have to like do a lot more research than I was expecting. But then again, that's because I'm going straight into a high level skill as someone at like level zero. Um, and maybe the correct way to do this would be to learn how to draw first and like figure out how layering works in Krita and then come to something like this instead of just going straight off the bat and make this like an end goal. But I have no idea how to like actually do that. But then there's these tutorialists, so like, I don't know. Well, this is what this is gonna be basically. And I don't know if I can go through these tutorials. Um. And I don't know if I can like stream this is is the hard part because I read through I read through part of the agreement for downloading specifies what you can and cannot do and one of the things that they're kind of big on is like not reproducing their work and because technically speaking I do have a donation link on my account and you can donate to me and also how if I get a certain number of streams in a month, um, I'm, uh, 
technically added as an affiliate. Once I have so many uh, subscribers and, and or followers and so many uh, like streams, um, I think I need like a minimum of like four and I can like usually hammer out more than that. Um, technically that means I'm making money and that means if I, if I show any of these videos, this company that runs the sort of the, the behind the scenes of Live 2D could get very mad at me very quickly, even though it's like the whole thing is I'm, um, yeah, see, I already did that. I already got the, the 5.0. Um, yeah, see, as you can buy and sell, um, I don't know if I'm an SDK user, I'm gonna be honest with you. Channel is the official Live 2D online course service currently offered by Live 2D Creative Studio. Um, yeah. So. This is gonna be. I mean, like, there, there is. That is very true, but like there, there are people that can just blatantly rimp off other people's content. Like I, I post my own VODs um, and I actually have a VOD that I've edited because we had uh, a stream change that needed to happen. And because I, we lost connection during the middle of, a, of it because I, I had to, to flip on a VPN, um, I, I have to edit it. I have another one that I also need to edit, which was the last stream that I did because I had let the music run for like a solid 40 minutes while I was just distracted doing other things and getting ready and it took longer than expected and so that 40 minutes is technically just audio that's just there and while I could upload that um to uh YouTube um it's going to get flagged even though I have the rights to technically do that um but it's still going to get flagged. It's still going to be problematic. And so to just avoid that, I'd rather just go in and like I downloaded the VOD. I'd rather just go in, cut the uh, um, the part that I need out of it, and then uh, render the video and then throw it online um, as the VOD. But it's just cut out the 40 minutes of music that was just was with just music and just the background going. Um... And you know that's that's my uh, that's my fault. Um, I, I made mistakes, um, but now I have more going on, and typically I am better set up. And my whole thing is is like I have to be sitting down in front and ready to stream as is, so that when I start up the uh, stream um, for its you know its little intro piece, uh, what I then do is I think about okay, what would be nice to make this stream work better. And then I go and do those things real quick, because usually those are just like quick five to ten minute, um, or sometimes even 15 minute uh, um, tasks that just let me kind of make things a little bit easier um, for just streaming, whether that's like getting, making sure that I have uh, water or making sure I have tea or making sure that, you know, the last couple minutes of, of, you know, me starting, I can make a quick sandwich or something that I can just like, you know, mow through in the course of streaming. But, um, yeah, you, people can just blatantly rip off other people's content, though. Um, and there is a certain level of, like, how much from the original can you, as an actual uh, person who's saying ripping the, the VODs off of uh, Twitch, um, how much transformation do you need to go through before it technically becomes its own creative work? And those are all sort of questions that a court will eventually answer if that becomes uh, problematic. But... Yes, there are people who just go through and they just rip off other people's content and repost it. Um, and they get the views themselves because they're, they've got maybe a longer ch standing uh, channel. And so then they rip off some new YouTuber. Um, we saw the whole issue with uh, James Somerton and that. Um, with the, the you know smaller YouTube essayists writing, um, writing whole scripts and performing whole videos. And then him just coming in and stealing all of it and then just making it look like it was his own work. Um, 
that you, you end up with situations like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's just it's one of those things like it, you do have to be careful with it. But it is. Yeah, like it, plagiarism is one of those things where like on paper, it's illegal. Right. But then in practice, to actually get that law to work, it's a lot of work because it's basically only been done or only been successfully done in one or two uh, areas. So yes, plagiarism is illegal, but actually getting caught for plagiarism and going to court and facing fines or remuneration for, uh, say, lost revenue for it, um, you have to prove lost revenue, right? So if you're a smaller creator and you're doing this essay and someone steals your work, if you were a smaller creator, then were you ever going to get seen by the same level of audience of X other person? D does that actually count? You know, like, are, do you actually have financial loss? Or were people just watching this other person anyways and they would have watched whatever he said, you know? Um, do you deserve a cut of what was made because technically you're the original writer? And that's really what it kind of comes down to is like, if you wrote the material, you do deserve a cut. And if said YouTuber or said creator is ripping off someone else's content and they're paying another editor to do something, then at most you're you're required for uh, sort of the amount of hours it took for you to write write the script. You, you'd be you need to be repaid for that. Um, but even then, that's that's not going to be say as much as the person who. Uh, originally stole it from could potentially make off of your writing like if you if you created something amazing and someone else ripped it off and you made a couple hundred thousand and they paid their uh, employees a couple hundred thousand but they made millions you're not entitled to the millions you're entitled to like the couple hundred thousand that they would have paid you to write for it if they'd had actually paid you that's kind of what it comes down to and it's shitty because it's like well no because now that this other bigger person has essentially done the same thing that you initially had done, you're never going to get seen for your original work because this bigger person did it instead. And people will always go to that bigger person regardless of if it's your work, because maybe they had better set dressing or maybe they just had more time for animation um, and they made it look better. And so, of course, that's always going to garner more attention just because of the quality of production, because they're rich enough to put that level of effort into their production, whereas someone who's smaller might have to cut corners to get it out because they can't pay the people to essentially make it better. You know, it's it's one of those those catch 22s. Um, in recognizing this, that's why uh, for a lot of like if I do artwork, um, I will consider it under Creative Commons just to credit me. Uh, that's all I ask. Um, I will I will throw up a problem and it will make a huge issue if you don't accredit me because the, the rules of the accreditation is basically you either credit me at the get-go for using anything that I created. If, if I do this avatar, well, sorry, not if, when I do this avatar, um, it's Creative Commons. You, you, you can take it and use it for your own. You can transform it. You can make money off of it. You can stick its face on a t-shirt and uh, make money from it. Um, all I ask is that, you know, that, that avatar is a representation of me. So, of course, you know, 100% don't slander me, don't libel me, um, and make sure you accredit who the original uh, artist is. Because if you are not accrediting me as the original artist, then I do want compensation. Because you're not agreeing to follow the rules that I set out. That's, that's the simplest bit of it. Like, I won't come after you for money unless you have failed to accredit me and mention my work. Like, if, if you're being like, oh, I made this, but you didn't, no, no. Now any money that you make, I want, because you're not following the, the, the agreement of this contract. It's a contract literally between me and you, is you, you put my name in, in the credits, or you put my name um, on the label, basically, uh, as the... Um, the artist that created the work and I got no problem. Make all the money you want, right? Like if, if I'm not doing it uh, or even if I am doing it and you have a different way of doing it and that's going to make you money, then go ahead and do it. Like I don't, I don't care. Um, do what makes you money, you know, like it, it, we're in a world where we have finite resources and um, 
maybe I'm not making, you know, t-shirts with my avatar's face on it that's basically being like, go fuck yourself, you know? Like, if you want to go and do that, absolutely go for it, you know? That, that's, that's perfectly allowed. Um, but if you don't credit me as the original artist for it, then that contract is broken, right? Like, I'm, if, if you're not... The requirement is you accredit me for my work, and if you fail to do that, then I want the money that you made because you didn't uphold your end of the contract. That's, that's basically all that it is. So basically, just don't do that. Just accredit me for my work. Just be like, oh yeah, Avatar, originally by Tally Sidekick, or use my real name, which is Lorelai Acalia, you know? And just throw that on there. That's that's the, the, the process that, that I asked for, you know? You are free to use my artwork to make money. Just to credit me. Failure to do that, I will come after you. And I will demand everything that you've made. Because you you, you didn't uphold. You you basically stole. You stole my artwork, you claimed it as your own, and you um tried to profiteer off of that, and so I want any profits that you made. Pretty pretty much it. I want, I want any profits that you made in any remaining stock that you have. Because if, if you're going to do that to me, I want all of that and I'll, I'll sell it. Like... Um... That's... But like, that, that's... I, th I think that's just... It's just being fair, right? Like... If I'm going to draw something and you're going to be like, oh, that's cool, I want to stick that on a t-shirt and I want to sell that to a whole bunch of people, that's fine. But the moment that you don't credit me, I take issue. You did not have permission to not credit me for my work. Credit me for it. That's it. It's not saying you have to pay me. Just make sure that people know where the artwork came from. And if they're interested, they'll be able to look me up and ideally find me, you know? Um... I should get into drawing more, though. But, uh, for tutorial-wise, I see that there is a Before You Begin. Okay, there's a glossary. This explains live 2D terms with images and descriptions. Mesh, art mesh, polygon, vertex edge, deformer, object, parameters, key, key form, parts, draw order, texture atlas. Okay. Art mesh. Okay, mesh, art mesh. Mesh is a, a set of triangles composed of vertices. This is called a mesh. Uh, PSD images loaded into modeling view are always placed on the canvas with this mesh assigned. Okay. Um, an image with the mesh. Okay, an image with the mesh assigned is the art mesh. So. Mesh is this physical part, art mesh is with the image assigned to it. Um, polygon, vertices, edge, okay. The triangles of a mesh, which is the set of triangles composed of vertices and lines, are called polygons, yes. Okay. Uh, the white points of a mesh are called vertices. That's these, these parts here. And uh, the lines of mesh are called edges, so Edge, vertice, polygon is the triangle it creates. Great. Um, deformer, warp deformer, rotation deformer. Uh, a container which in which the vertices of an art mesh can be deformed and moved together. And moved together is called a deformer. There are two types of deformers, warp deformers, which can create curved shapes and rotation deformers, which can be rotated and scaled. Each can do different things, so they are used for different purposes. More about deformers. Whereabouts down the list is this? Oh, right down there. See, deformer. Because if we if we open that out, then this is like it's about deformers is right here. Okay. Well, let's do a quick jump into this deformer. Uh. Deforming a deformer with a mesh in a warped form also deforms the mesh inside. 
Okay, that's too high, bro. We'll we'll get there. That's that's asking me to remember stuff that I don't remember. Um. I might do a chapter select on this, and I might just play a video game for the last little bit. But this is... We now have GD... <laughs> we now have GD script to go through for the Godot engine, and now we have this. But, I mean, I'm starting to think, I'm wondering if I can use both. I'm wondering if I can use the assets created in 2D Cubism inside the animation assets of a video game. This could be an interesting project. Object. Each element placed on the canvas, such as an art mesh or deformer, is called an object. Yeah, because I, I know that we're... That's okay. Um, parameters. Any of those. Okay. Um, parameters can be used to store the deformation position, etc. of an object. Click here for more information. Yeah, I, that, I understand what parameters are. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a software... I'm a software programmer. I understand what parameters mean. <laughs> Uh, key form. Key and key form. Uh, the point on the parameter where the shape is stored is called the key. The shape specified by a key is called key form. Okay. So. Point on the parameter where the shape is stored is called the key. And then the shape specified by a key is key form. Key form. Okay. Parts, groups of characters divided by their components, nose, eyes, etc., are called parts. Parts are displayed in the parts uh, palette section. Okay, 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 okay. So we have in the editor, we have parameters sections. We have the keyform sort of settings. We have uh, parts. Um. Draw order, the value that specifies the order in which the art meshes overlap is called the draw order. It can be set between 1, 0, and 1,000. Larger value, value, the more the more the art mesh will be displayed in front. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So a thousand being back there, zero being up front, and you could potentially make it, but if you have things like deforms, etc., where it's curving it, then having it so close could be problematic. Okay, I can I can see that. I can see that. Um Texture Atlas. Image showing art messages side by showing art meshes side by side. It's called a texture atlas. Typically, the format is PNG and the size uh, is created as n squares of two. Okay. Um, this is required when exporting models for embedded in the SDK or for Cubism 2.1. Not required for video applications. Um, is there a next after this? Okay. But so I'm, I'm still correct in the fact that you have to draw, um, if you look at something like this, like they've had to draw different layers of the image. So these would be different layers, right? Like you have layer one, layer two, layer three in the background. Um, and even potentially, yeah, you've got this one here, which might be part of its own separate layer. So you will have to draw, we'll have to draw a face in a, uh, we'll actually have to get good at drawing to create an avatar that we can then use and drop in here and apply. And it does this by applying meshes to the individual parts. The individual layers sort of become, uh, I believe it was um, 
it, we have like a hundred layers that we can do. Um, so like you'd have to do like an, a, a pupil layer or an iris layer. Um, and then you would have a uh, like an eye, you know, you have like your face plate and then you have like your mouth, your nose that are on top of that. Um, and so all of that would basically go back. You'd also potentially have to have eyelids and eyelashes. Um, and so even though if you have eye holes for your eye, you're still going to need an eyelash layer, which is going to go like over and you're going to have an eyelid layer, which is going to go over. Um, you could probably make those one and the same, but the thing is, is that depending on what they're going to be, they're going to need to be able to transform down and like warp, which I think is where the, the deformation comes from, as to like, as it goes down to like, uh, catch it to a certain point. Um, very interesting. Uh, if we only have three animation frames that we can use, um, this is going to be a very glitchy process. Uh, which sucks, but we'll have to see where this goes. I actually have questions now. Where is VTube Studio? Hey, I got, I got, I got questions. Um. Okay, yeah, so you need your own live 2D cube as a model. Okay. So actually using VTube Studio will be pretty probably easy. Um, okay. Literally, it's just 2D cubism that'll be the problem. Lovely. Okay. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna probably play this in a couple minutes. Um, but as I'm understanding this from this, I will go over more of this tomorrow. Um, probably early in the morning because I'm actually trying to fix my sleep schedule tonight, and uh, hopefully I can actually get to sleep. Um, and not be like absolutely friggin' terrified that someone's gonna break into my apartment. Um. But this means that, like, it's not as scary as I thought it was going to be. Um, the real challenge is going to be, like, if I can find a template that explains, like, what I need to do, um, then then I can, I can probably do this piece by piece. Um, I'm just thinking about, like, all the steps. I'm going to have to get good at drawing is what I'm going to have to do. So I might be doing more just general drawing streams. Um, because I, I know the kind of style that I want to do. Um, and so maybe it's just a matter of, of practicing the skills to kind of get, uh, to get myself to the point of drawing general faces. And then it's just going to be like literally shading and everything else that is going to murder me. But you know, we'll, we'll get there. Um, my cat is, yeah, is whining at me. This is beautiful. Uh, okay, list of shortcuts. Okay. Okay, okay. This is this is going to be a reading process. Um, so I'm going to probably read through a lot of this, but it looks like from what it said before it said what was it? I think it was on the other page. Um, the layers like automatically become something. So it's just a matter of like organizing them 
and like eye layer, etc. And then uh Okay. Well, we'll go through the um before you begin, we'll go through the basics, material division. Uh how to create PSDs to import will be important. And then all of this. Linking source image to model folder guide image, add a texture, atlas, that kind of stuff. So we'll have to take a look. This is gonna be this is gonna be like a long process, fair warning. But um seeing as how it's been bought, I'm gonna just uh do my best moving forward. Um probably more like 100 percent more art streams in the future um of me just getting good with Krita and like putting things on layers and figuring stuff out it's my artwork's gonna be terrible but you know i'll post them um online and uh you know the, the finished result after like every stream or whatever um, i don't know why my eyes are stuck in shocked mode but um yeah this is this is gonna be fun <sighs> I know I didn't sound enthusiastic about that, but like I'm, I'm actually thinking like this is actually going to be fun. Um, file menu. Uh, switching category, search box, expand, collapse, group. I wonder, I'll have to like check in just to, to like on this page alone, just to see if the settings are listed in uh, like Japanese, because if it's all listed in Japanese, I might have a problem, but. Okay, let's let's actually have some fun here. Let's um let's do Ah, uh, border Yeah, but we're not playing the enhanced. We're just we're just playing we're just going to be playing Game of the Year Edition. So what are you? It's Borderlands. Screw it. We're going to smash this. Yes, this is a game that is, um... Uh... Um... do is we'll click this which I know we'll have to do first time setup but we'll get there so more draw streams coming for me in the future this is going to be uh great um I will go through like I said I will go through more of this tonight uh not tonight yeah tonight probably tonight I'll go through more of it tonight and um as well as tomorrow I'll just try to see if I can hammer through understanding the editor uh, in its entirety and what it's requiring what it needs and then uh i'll pop on stream as soon as i can to uh go through as many um 
art drawings of the future avatar as we can get. I'm going to un disconnect, unconnect, disconnect, disconnect. I'm going to disconnect the tablet. Uh, because tomorrow is going to be a hell day for me anyways. Mm. Well, that's not it. That we can close. I already have Borderlands. This, is, this has already happened. Watch, please no. Your baby. Don't make me use the thing that you hate. No watch. Cuddle you later. She's a tiny baby and all she does is whine. Oh, oh jeez. My poor... Oh no, this is so bad. Okay. Um... Hi, can we... Hi, okay, uh, yeah, we'll get back to you in a second. Um... I didn't expect you. No, that's no, oh, that's semi right. Nvidia. Uh, we'll stop the lo-fi for the moment. Um, we'll jump back into this. Uh, okay. 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 I get that. Um. Options. Audio video. Oh, this is, this is, it's not this small on my screen. This is expanded over the whole thing. Um. Resolution. Can we? Okay, well... Oh. oh, well, I went right past. You know what? Right there. Oh, come on, let's get down. Come on, everybody. Check me out. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Oh, the worry. Okay. Game options. Thank you. No. Audio video. Check me out. Um, oh, come on. Get down. Broadcast voice. Wait, what? I don't want to broadcast my voice. Anastropic filtering. Well, that actually looks better. Dynamic shadows. Well, it's not killing my PC. Okie dokes. It's finding the right bullet decals on. Thank you. Voyage quality. High texture quality. I can like physically see it see it changing. It's low, medium, high. Shouldn't be a problem on high. Okay. Bloom. Not sure if that's doing anything. Depth of field. Hey, traveler! Mm. 
I don't know if I want depth of field. This, this seems like that would just be more problematic. I'll take flare outs. Um, game options. Decline. Uh, da, 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 mouse keyboard. Awesome. Uh, well, let's do a single player because I don't know if I want to do online. <laughs> this looks great, yeah. That is a skull. Please do not pick that up. Thank you very much. Um, bonus cut. Whoa. Well, it's showing everything. Probably because I don't have the. It's going off of my main screen. All right, let me just take that off of, and we'll just properties of this to Borderlands. Great. And then we'll open up this. There we go. Okay, so now I, it doesn't show the bonus content, um, which is literally just being like, hey! But I already bought it. Okay, you're just being like... New character, because I was doing the Enhanced Edition. The Enhanced Edition is for modern PCs, and my PC isn't modern. So, you want to hear a story, huh? One about treasure hunters. <laughs> Have I got a story for you? I fucked this up last time. Pandora. This is our home, but make no mistake. This is not a planet of peace and love. They say it's a wasteland, that it's dangerous, that only a fool would search for something of value here. Then perhaps I am a fool. But do not be fooled by what Pandora appears to be. There was a legend. Many people tell it. The legend of the vault. My father would always go on about the vault, even with his dying breath. Advanced alien technology. Infinite wealth. Fame. Power. Women. So you can understand why some little kiddos who hear the stories grow up to become vault hunters. Well, I have a story you may not believe, but I tell you it is true. The legend of the vault is real, and it is here on Pandora. And the uh, hell, yeah, let's call it a guardian angel, appear to guide the vault hunters to their prize. The tale begins right here, on Pandora, with the brave Vault Hunters, the Guardian Angel, and most importantly, me. Um, give me a second. I actually Stop. need... Firestone Depot. Time to gather up the, the, Yeah, the, um, the song on there you can't play. I just realized that. That's, uh... With sniper um, rifle and the crazy mask. You look like a Traxican wrestler. Moonlighting is a dominating. Yep. Don't be alarmed. I need you to stay calm and don't let on that anyone is talking to you. Start making your way off the bus. You don't have any reason to trust me, but I need you to believe that I'm here to guide you. I'm here to help you find the vault. In a moment, you'll be greeted by a funny little robot. Do everything he says. You'll know what I mean when it happens. I'll contact you again soon. Well, we're here. <laughs> Don't worry about saying goodbye. I'm sure we'll be doing this all again soon enough. <laughs> ah, get off my bus. So, um, this will be another VOD we have to edit. Because, um, yeah, that song is copywritten, and, uh, the, the, I, we couldn't, we couldn't listen to that. Um, I don't know why it didn't give me that option. To, like, turn off.
But I guess this was back when, you know, I don't think streaming was really a thing. Um. Hey, one second. Uh, options. Audio, video. We're gonna have to turn this off. Because you have voice volume. Yeah, you don't have the let's turn off the. Okay. See you next time. Whoa. <laughs> Hold up. Options. No. There we go. Eh, that's still going to be way too hard. Options. Firestone. I am CL4PTP. You may call me by my locally designated name, Claptrap. Before continuing, please accept this echo communication device and heads up display, provided free of charge by the Doll Corporation. Slowest loading ever. Just saying. Great! I detect that your echo device is fully functioning. This way. Hi, that's me. Uh, I have zero proficiencies in any in everything. Um, I only got twelve backpack spots. I got no perks. Uh, that's my quest. That's my map. Okay. Please? Nice. It's a little bit stuttery. Um, I wonder if... Hold up. There is there is always something you can do with this. No, oh, that's off. Come on. Manic Shadows Potion. Okay. You're just not gonna... Okay, you're just... Not gonna let me, okay. Right. Step right up! This is the new U station! When you use this device, your DNA profile is automatically identified and stored. Please activate the new use station now. Um, hi. Uh, purple, because th that's our. Well, hold on. Technically, that's purple. And we could do that. Oh, do we do trans colors? Do we do trans colors? Do we do... We did pink. That, and then the outer layer is blue. Closest we're gonna get. Alright. Excellent! Now that your DNA is registered, you have the best in horrific death and dismemberment insurance! Should an unfortunate fatal incident occur, your new you will appear at the nearest station. Now we can head into the peaceful town of Firestone. All right, let's go. Is that... Oh no, not again! Gone? Whew. So 
those bandits really have it in for us claptraps, using us as target practice is not part of our programming. And open! Yes! That hurt. Thing. Um, if you could walk into my bullets, that would be great. I'm, I'm certainly not gonna, uh... Um, hi. Uh, see, we've got a problem here, and that is... I wasted all of my shots. Okay, uh, hi. No. No, that doesn't help. If you could walk into any of the bullets I previously fired... <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, Come meet your maker. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Bullets. Ah. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. I need. I need ammunition. Okay. I do not have aim. Let's see, 12 damage, 10 damage, fire rate 3.6, fire point 2.1. Wow. That looks like it could do some damage. Okay, let's get this gate open. Well, Switching weapons and use mouse wheel. Alright. Okay, enter. Wah, 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 wah. Um. Oh, yeah, okay, you took the, you took the thing I wanted. Great, because I don't know what that is. These controls seem to be damaged. Have no fear. I'm sure I can do it. Mm, this isn't working. Rule number one, check everything. All of the stuff. This game is a lot less forgiving than the in quotations enhanced, but it's not killing my processor. So I'm happy. Give. You take that. You don't have anything for me. Shotgun shell, that kind of hurt.
Okay. Excellent. I knew you were the right choice, friend. Now go. I'll contact you again soon. How much of these can I take? None? Okay. I'm over here. I know you are. Hmm. I'm over here! Attention, citizen of Firestone! There is no cause for alarm! This new visitor has resolved the problem! Well, shoot. I thought I was a goner that time. Damn bandits won't leave us alone. Had to lock the place up tight. I'll let you in. Come on. Damn it. Blasted circuits are on the fritz again. Give it a go from the switch out there, would you? Sure. Now that you've selected a mission, I just, I just, I just want to... Thank you. Nothing, nothing like anything really difficult. I'm just uh, here to loot. I figure I'm gonna need. I understand. Thank you. Am I going to do this? Yes, I am. the older style to be honest thanks for opening her up again the name's Zed now, they don't let me cut on folks anymore since I lost my license so now I keep the med vendors around here up and running from the vendors you can buy all the healing you could ever want from a real doc thankfully without the vault is a myth you'll get yourself killed lecture there we go. I keep the medical equipment working more or less I'm not reading any of these. Exit. I'm over here. You know what you need, now that we're done with all that, yeah, please do. follow me and I'll open the gate for you. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm coming with. Come here, you stupid robot. Good as new, I think. Am I leaking? He seems to be okay. Now is the time to get moving and play your part in the journey to come. See you 
in a few. Quick question. Hmm. Well, we'll just go back and turn it in. What do you need? Hand in that. Fixer upper, sure. That'll do for now. Hey there, Jake. Come on, let's get down. Come on, everybody. Check me out. I'm dancing. Thank you. Love that. Okay. I don't. No. Should have searched that. Wait, where am I supposed to be? Oh, I'm supposed to be heading over there. Oh, I'm an idiot. Ta -da. Ooh. Oh, you can actually go in. Oh. Replacement part. I'll take all of this. Oh, I didn't know I could go in here. I remember distinctly getting exactly this far last time and then not checking in here, which was my mistake. Hyperion pistol. What do you want? Spit it out. Fixer up. Good. Exit, I guess. Oh, I guess I had to do now. What can I do for you? I might not have a med school degree, but when you get shot, you'll be happy I'm here. Capacity 60, recharge rate 9. to sell some things you don't need. You, didn't buy first you can call me Zed. Everyone page. else does. Yep. I might not have a med school degree, but when you get shot, you'll be happy I'm here. Okay. You know. People don't yet trust you. If you're going to ever find the vault, you'll need the aid of the people. Helping Dr. Zed with his nine toes problem is a good move. What was this guy's name? Nine toes. Why is it nine toes? You're missing one? Is that a sad story I need to hear?
that! What is this? I want to press this. As much as I like that other pistol, like... Terrible scatter gun. Let's see, what are you? Damage 5? Times eleven. Do we really want to run a shotgun though? I mean, a shotgun is pretty fun though. And a pretty wild for wild animals to carry bullets. Yeah, no, really helpful too. You know, it's like, oh, I need a magazine. <laughs> um. Yeah, hold Um. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I got like revolver ammo. I'm assuming that's pistol ammo, SMG ammo, shotgun ammo. I got, like, no assault ammo. I got no revolver ammo either. None of this. I'm assuming I just get, like, ammo for what I need. Um, that said... I kind of hate the... I hate the submachine gun. Shotgun might be more fun, to be honest. But I am, I am a pistol person. I'm gonna be honest. I. It might just be a karate thing. I don't like to have two things in my hand. Like I don't like that to hold two things in my hand because it like restricts movement. Then again, the shotgun I will make an exception for. Oh, okay. Oh, this is an arena. Okay. I should head back. Can I grab you? Yes, I can. Okay, well, I have everything except for whatever that is. I will go back to turn this in. I should not jump down there. That feels like an opening for a problem. As I go down to take a look, I'm like, can I get into that pipe? Is there... Can I get into this pipe? It's money. Money is money. Love for a chance to... That pistol is just gonna suck. There is no sight on that. Yeah. What do you want? Spin it out. Black one. Okay. Uh, me nine toes, AK. Sorry, nine toes. Meet TK Baja. He 
You got what you need. Now scram. Thank you. Thank you, not Dr. Zed. Or not a Dr. Zed. Hi, I'm Dr. Zed. Except I'm not really an actual doctor. I just, you know, do things. Up. Up. We're playing Borderlands. Uh-oh. You? One more step and it'll be your last. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> uh... Rooting in your trash, it's okay. Uh, what's going on? Don't worry about me, I can take care of myself. I'll get by just fine, all right? I'm okay. Okay. Food. Okay. I'm just gonna steal shit from you. You're not gonna stop me, it's, it's great. My weapon received. Ten, ten, seventy-seven. Higher accuracy. Higher fire rate. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Still sucks at aiming. What is this? Star Wars? It's no fucking sights. Wait, there's a red thing. Not sure what that means, but okay. Hi. Okay, so apparently, what I'm learning from this. Is shotguns are the way to go. shotgun I've ever seen. Holy heck. That is like, this is the worst shotgun ever. check oh, no, I see I didn't check I missed like tiny little things okay what is with this tiny red dot Oh. 
Alright. She's disappeared. Fine. We'll just have that disappear. By the way, is that a turret? That's like, that's really cool. That's a gun. Really yeah. Okay, wait, hold up. Pistol, pistol, pistol. I hate that, I hate that so much. Okay. 60, 71, don't care. Uh, let's see. You are... Damage 10, 77, 31. Okay, you. Damage 10, damage 10, damage 10. Yeah, no, you're not, like, any better... Actually, that one is better. Why is that one better? Why is this one still better? What is this? That is... That is crazy. $2,000 though. Yeah. Well, I'm not pressing it here. That is extremely expensive. Um, let's see. Terrible shotgun. Also have that. Um, troll pistol. Damage is 15. Oh, it's an SMG. Okay, well, hold on. Let's. Yes. Yes. Super Peter, yes. Yes. Uh, you're not equipped. So yes. Um, okay, wait, hold up. Your... Your swatter is 10... It's 10 damage for pistol, and you're 5. So... You're 10. No, the other one's better. Uh, that one's 19. Says substandard, though. Um, and then this is the two terrible scatter guns. Uh, sure.
Uh, there. You sell. Yes. Now we're gonna get this, which is gonna be a little bit better, hopefully. Um. Okay. SMG, that's repeater. Okay. Uh, shotgun shells. I think we're good. Um, yeah, no, that'd be a waste. Uh, sniper rifle ammo, which is those. Uh, yeah, we don't have that, so we're not we're not doing sniper rifles just yet. Um, yep. Oh, okay. Oh, I gotta go all the way back over there to turn it in. Oh, heck. Literally called terrible scattergun. Yeah, yeah, I see that. It's, uh... Uh, hold up one sec. I need... that up correctly before we do this. There we go. Yes, literally terrible scattergun. Where? Hi. Um, I got a little bit turned around. You'll have to excuse me. Is that what I think it is? Useless. Hey, newcomer. I've been looking for you. Finally, we get to take him out. All right, see you soon. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? It doesn't matter. Just come home back whenever you want. I'm trying to move forward, thank you! Earned a skill point. All right. To my power. Uh, hi. Skill point. Um, the only skill point I can do is this one. Base walk. Game blade. Uh, visible incredibly fast. Come on. You create a phase blast that damages nearby. So you can. You can melee attack and phase walk early. Okay. Capacity of your shield, striking your melee attacks can daze enemies, reducing their movement speed and accuracy. Okay. Um, increase your fire rate with all weapons. Increase your chance of causing elemental effects with elemental weapons. Okay. Increase your critical hit damage. Uh, increase your resistance to damage uh, for a few seconds after face walking. Okay. That one might be good. Okay. okay. I'm up there. 
invading your ecosystem with his location. Come and see me once you put his bits to the grinder. Apparently, you gotta go to a new area. <laughs> Discovered Skag Gully. Achievement unlocked. Awesome. Um, hi. Wait, what is this? You are 83 at 10. And you are 71, but I can't purchase you because you are too expensive. Uh, you are also too expensive. This is going to suck. All right. Don't know who to trust? You can always trust the gun at your side. Yeah, I, uh, all of these are um, amazing, but I can't afford them. Oh. But you do have goodies for me, in case I was hurting. Just running along. What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Hello. Ah. Oh, jumping at me. Meanies. Those jerks. I'm sorry. Level requirement six. Oh, horrible. Now we're gonna go kill nine, kill nine toes. I'm just assuming he's like. Mobster type, you know? What the heck? Honestly, that that's the... You're the most horrifying thing I've ever seen. Mad respect, you are short and terrifying. So I gotta go in here. Okay, well. You are about to face your first real challenge. I hope you've toughened up enough.
Yeah. I'm gonna err on the side if I don't. Oh. One second. See, you're 99 capacity. I don't have enough. Well, that sucks. Remember, you can always count on Marcos for the best guns around. Mm, honestly, I haven't really run out of ammunition. Um. Besides, I got that. Who cares? Well, that's a skill point I'm not using. Um. So that resolve. Yeah. I forget how to phase walk. F. Okay. F to phase walk. F to pay respects. Okay. What is this? Hi. got grenades that I am not using. And then there's you. Ooh. Nasty repeater. Okay, this is gonna... Oh. You woke the wrong doll. Ah, yeah! Oh, good ox. I'm not good with this. Okay, um, nine toes. Nice to meet you. You're dead. I'll be looking at all of this momentarily. Um,. Okay, uh, let's see. Ladyfinger was here, was 13. Uh, your reload rate is so slow. Um, let's 
nice. I'm doing that one because it has a good fire rate. Um, because this one's fire rate was low. This one is high, and I will take that. Um, your fire rate is 6.4, and so this thing is technically faster. Okay, doing maths. Um, long sniper. Oh, do I really? But like her abilities really are. is nearby, like. She's not really a far off person. So there really is no point. And I'm saying this honestly, there is no point in running a sniper with her because her main ability literally has her be, uh, whatever this is, gain ability on entering and leaving phase walk, you create a blast that damages nearby enemies. You can immediately attack and phase walk early. Um, there's damage reduction. So when we get the next point, we can up that. Um, this increases critical hit. Uh, oh, city. It's like she's, she's built for SMGs, or at the very least, shotguns. And you're 66, you're 71. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We need... Yeah, you can take snipers all you want. We're not running the snipers. Well, the sniper's nice, but we'll get rid of that. Um, we'll just take that. Awesome. I could have used a grenade. I didn't. Do we have... A... Yeah, let's not um, stick myself in a corner like that. Phase walk was useful in getting away and didn't have damage abilities up close. I would have considered maybe running a sniper, but her whole build is built on the idea. Can I get like health at all, please? Like what I wouldn't give for a health thing right now. That's that, none of you. Already grabbed you. You're all done. All right, well, we're just heading back to hand it in. Hoping I don't die. Nice. Right, can I have this now? No. Do do do. Running through. I love how my um, chat is currently obscured by the uh, on-screen messages. That was the first step on your journey. You must listen. Who I am is not important. The first thing you must know, the vault is real. People will mislead you. They will try to use you, and you cannot be swayed in your purpose. The vault is here, and you will find it. This world is full of dangers. Steal yourself and go. I'll be watching. Uh, shields. Uh, yeah, let's uh, sell that. Uh... Bro, okay, healing. Please tell me you heal all the way up. No, you don't. Okay, well, then we'll just do this, because then I don't need to do this. Here. 
Um. What's this? 99 fast recharge rate. Um, I can technically afford it. 78, 61, 66. Okay. Yeah. Well, Nate's a real doctor. When you got my machines and their scary needles. Encounter enough beasties out there, and you'll be happy you won't find the rest. Ah, uh, what am I using? Your. You were repeating? What are you? You're repeating, you're not a revolver. Okay. So... We will do gun. repeater SDU. Because we're going to go through that more. And... SMG SDU. Thank you. Now we have 300, and that is at 500. Much better. So now we can come out and do this. Jerks. Jerks! Okay, that was a little bit crazy. Huh? Yeah, that's, um, it's been a while. Just gonna say... I really wish I could, uh, play more modern games, but um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I am having fun with the older ones. Like, retro gaming with Tally. Mm. Come, join the stream. It'll be on a VOD, where more people will see it anyways. Kind of my fault for choosing a Sunday, but at the same time, it kind of made sense at the time that I originally set these up. And then now I just kind of like refuse to play on uh, weekdays. There was something here. Okay, he's there. Whoa. Okay, inverted. That's interesting. Um, there's a question mark over there. I don't think we've gone that far. Uh, wait, where are you? You're over here. Did I not? 
I didn't. I'm dumb. Hi. Now you have more stuff in it. Okay, we're going this. Okay, so I can actually like strike people with the weapon instead of just like the Chloe hand thing. Okay, that's cool. I hit that button on accident and learned something. No? Well, look at you. I only shoot skag. Well, mostly anyways. <laughs> nice. Turn to Zed. I'll see you later. Oh, skill point game. Um let's okay, wait, hold up. Increases your fire rate with all weapons. Uh, increases the capacity of my shield. Well, actually, let's do that. Let's 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 go down the controller and the. I don't know. We'll right. figure things out as we go. See you later, okay? I'm a dumb idiot, and I do things the way I need to because I'm stupid. And more shields and damage reduction is kind of important to me. Because I'm dumb. Well, I'll be damned. You killed nine toes. You should get me a drink to celebrate sometime. Might want to check out the bounty board and see if anyone else has a job for you. Bounty boards. Uh. What? Okay. Cover it, kid. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh. Several more grenades. Okay. Equip that, and you'll find that your protein grenades are certainly more powerful. Yeah, thank you. And are now equipped with special abilities. Always be on the lookout for new and different grenade mods to supercharge your arsenal. Oh. Thank you. I love that idea. Why, you the one killing all the crabs, people ask? To catch a ride near Firestone is more busted than my mama's girl parts. Real appreciate you taking a poke at that. Uh, the system, not my mom. Huh. That dog down the skag den, know what I'm saying? DK has more work. Awesome. I'm gonna see what we got for guns. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's an SMG. Okay, well, it's super expensive. I can't afford that. Um. I mine's better. That is an SMG, and I'm pretty sure that my SMG, uh, which is this one, right, is 50. Boy, oh, great. Now there's people coming to kill me. Okay, well, you know what? It's, it's a one point difference. It's not going to matter. We'll take that, though. Oh, no more ammunition? Okay. I guess I overstayed my welcome. Yeah. <sighs> 
you for killing stuff. Hold up. Yep. Catch a ride used. How does one use catch a ride? What do you mean? Okay, fine. Can't be used. I thought you said it was broken. Like, how do I fix it? You're not even telling me where I need. Oh, hello. Yeah, I love Borderlands 2. It's, it's a, um, it's a classic, like, I don't know, it's, I got introduced in Borderlands 2, and uh, now I'm finally playing Borderlands 1, and I just love how nothing pretty much about the gameplay changed between the two of them is just a story continuation, and it's just, it's fun. Smells like off-worlder. How you liking our planet anyways? Okay, what is this? Blade Fire Slades, Scar Killed. Okay, uh, let's get gar uh, gully. Okay. What the heck? Okay, well, hold up. And that's supposed to be that there. But you're not telling me. You're not telling me where to go. Where do I go? I, uh, I hate to send you away. It's like, catch a ride used. You find and use the catch a ride system outside of Firestone? Wait, am I in? But how? They're like, use it. And it's like, well, how? Because I opened this. And you don't tell me how to use the catch a ride. Like, what do I do? this we I mean, we go through this already
Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm gonna be honest with you, that was kind of a waste of ammo. $39 almost makes it worth it. Yeah, it's uh, something green over here. Hello. Are you ammo? Oh, you are so beautiful. I'm probably not even at the level that I should. I don't even know what level I am. Hi. What is this? What's my level? I'm level 7. I took out level 9s. Y'all are weak. Catch a ride used. I'd love to. Hello. on that way in just a moment. There was a whole, like, over the thing platform here. I'll take that too. $39. I'm very happy. I'm making a lot of money. That's grabbed, but I still don't know what this is, and it's still not letting me use the catcher ride station. So I'm gonna head to the catcher ride station over here. Well, I don't know if that's gonna hurt me. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, wow. Oh, that's uh. There is supposedly a catch a ride station over here somewhere. Um, why I'm heading here is because the other one doesn't work. Huh. Well, I love the decor. And I'm lying about that. That is, uh, is pretty gruesome. I don't think I can grab a catch a ride from there. I wonder if I can go around. I wonder. Hey. ride used except it wasn't used so now I'm stuck here trying to find how to oh I can't go this way oh you screwed me I like here but that doesn't work because it goes straight down into a trash zone 
And I bet you it doesn't even go up anywhere cool. Yeah, you're, like, you're not gonna let me like run up the side of that hill. I am so sure of that. Yeah, I called it. Okay. You're just unhappy with me trying to go and work things out. I understand. I'm not allowed to use the catch a ride system. Ugh. Upset. Mildly upset. Oh wait, no, it said that I had proficiency on 1-up on uh, these. Okay. I'll try the catch a ride system one more time. Alright, oh well, fuck it, it's just broken. So we're gonna go do quests. And skag gully and we'll be back. Playing Borderlands. Should probably get back to doing Slime Rancher. On one of these streams, but I told myself that I was going to be doing, um... I'm sorry, what is this?
It's a bad repeater. Let's go use the bad repeater. How bad is it? Let's see. Eight does fire damage. Bad repeater. Uh, ten does not have anywhere near. Yeah, so that's it's a surplus bad repeater. Oh my. the heckin' crap out of me! Hey. Just a lot of shooting. Okie dokes. Uh, that's an assault rifle. That is... Well, hello. Thank you. Where is the second data recorder? It's all the way over there. I'm worried about dropping, to be honest. But it kind of was the... Oh. Okay, well, well, be careful about it.
Well, how am I supposed to get up that? Oh, the long way? Excuse me. Didn't realize. Oh, I have a skill point. I'm stupid. Um. Let's increase shield capacity. We we need we need more shield. Combat rifle, you don't need a combat rifle. <laughs> Am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. Stop it. Combat rifle bullets, come on. I need SMG. Hi, um, okay, uh, you, you're eight, but you're still nine, and that one doesn't really suck that bad. That is a punishing pounder, but it's, um, yeah, doesn't really do much. Okay, we need to sell shit. Grenades. Right. Grenades. I'll get ox. No idea.
Holy crap! crap hi um i'm gonna need that it's my install files aren't really helping me I'll take those take that is dead i'll take this thank you This is this is gonna suck. Um what was our turn in, turn in, there is catch a ride, and then there's blade flower seeds. Um we're gonna Well this is now down, so this is easy. Uh, we're gonna head back real quick. Uh, ooh, inventory is now full. Okay. That's fine. We're heading back anyways. Cause I am so full! Over encumbered. Or at encumbrance. What is my, like, EXP at? Can you even see where my EXP at? Oh, yeah, no, right there on the bottom. So I'm an idiot. Okie dokes. I can do this. Uh, what the? Step right up. This place is available on all weapons and gear. Uh, terrible matador. Um... I don't need that. I don't need that. And all of you... I can get rid of. I need the minor healing kit. But you are less than the 99 shield that I've got. Mm-hmm. But the, um opportunity of getting rid of the clipper might be worth it for the shotgun sh shells because seeing as how we both got the option between um shotguns might be worth it although it does talk about increased rate of fire so maybe a repeater pistol is the better option Okay, and hi. Uh, healer's kit. Thank you. Ah, first aid kit. You won't regret it.
heal that up over time. Flower seeds. Okay. Enemies have. Yeah, I've already done this. Adult scags. Interesting. Interesting. We're just going to do more damage mitigation.
is getting dicey. Oh, and there's already nine. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you need help? How are you not on fire? Like, your offspring was on fire. Well, nice. I don't know, I'm at five. So all of these are like level, that's a level 13 requirement. Wow. And I'm what? Level nine? Ooh. Well, that one will have to keep. What is this? Ah, uh, let's see. Well, you were pistols, so that doesn't even count.
job. Um, yes, don't need bad repeater. Shit. That don't mean shit. Um. Alright, and that one we're waiting for level 13 on. Step right up. No, we're good there. What we really need. You can always count on Marcos with the best guns around. What do you mean I can't use that? Hmm. Well, let's do the grenades then. already been upgraded. Try this again. Full friggin' ammunition. Bullets doesn't reset. That's the good thing. I'm not completely screwed. Oh, jeez, Kate. Hills. Hills. Hills are my problem. What is this? Um, okay, wait, hold up. 16 times seven. Okay, well, we'll take it, but.
Is that, is this the whole area? That's the whole area. I have explored 100% of this map. Hi. Eat me. I'm just wasting ammo is all I'm doing. I'm just... It just bounced off of you. I'm kind of mad about that. Okay, well, uh, this might be the end of the stream. I don't know how many of you are still watching. Um, but thank you all for uh, coming by. And um, we'll just leave the quest turn-ins for the next uh, time we're through. Actually, I don't know. I want to make sure that we're... I guess we might have saved. Anyway, um, I will leave this for what it is. We're going to exit. And I will go ahead and I will do this. There we are. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, I will see you guys all next time. Um, thank you all so much for coming to watch. Oh, okay, it's going to be a bit of a fun um, go through, but I mean, I got nothing else better to do while I'm waiting for uh, job prospects to come back, so might as well, you know? Um, and if I can make a good avatar that actually works really well, maybe things will look a little better, you know? Um, so yeah, thank you all for coming by to watch. Thank you all for being here. I will see you all next time. And of course, stay safe out there. Be safe out there. Uh, watch each other's backs. Um, it's, it's getting dicier, uh, as time goes on. But, you know, anyway. Bye-bye.